And this is where we left off. Last show where I'm rearranging furniture and decluttering the museum. Oh my, we still have tons to do here. Yes, it's been an all day project. So I divided it into two shows. Let me show you as I continue working to make this a more spacious looking home. Hope you'll join me. and simple life. Last time I showed you how I changed these two tables. This one was against the back wall. It was my focal point. I was really happy with that look. I'm not sure about this yet. I do like the wrought iron right underneath or the, you know the the black metal and then the wrought iron here. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the bottom yet. I know I need height in here. Maybe a couple plants. Although I kill plants and I don't like fake plants. <laughs> oh my gosh, a dilemma. I'm hiding the printer back here. I may put a basket or something nice on top of it. I'm not sure. But we're just going to keep going till this is all squared away playing playing i switched the lamps the other lamp i kind of like this burlap with the wood here just moving things around it's fun but yeah i'm not sure and i'm not too crazy about this yet it looks too loosey goosey just too spread out i need to tighten it up I like how I did a little makeshift here to get some height, but yet at the same time, I really don't care for it 100%. I'm not feeling it. I like how this is hiding the cord. It's pretty, but yet, I don't know, it seemed prettier over here. <laughs> Opened up this space here. I think I need one more thing up here. I don't know. I like the open space look. Maybe a teeny weeny plant up there. I like the tweaks I've done here. The color coordination here. The ocean, putting that up on the stand. May leave that empty for now. Maybe Putting a couple little plants may have to go fake. Those little small jar plants, maybe one or two on here. Not sure. Dilemmas and decisions. Do I even want this jar anymore that I never used? And now it has some precious memories in there that I could just put in a container in the closet to find or not to find one day. I kind of like that, but I'm not really attached to this. And I like this clock, this little, but I'm not really attached to it either. Not sure. Books down below, not sure. I like this in the corner, my go-to shoes, nice little color diversion there. I like the various blues here that blend with the beautiful cardinal picture. And maybe onto something here, I slid the, the table slash desk down. And Move this up so it fills the gap here, fills the gap. And I also like the carpet not slanted because that was too dizzy looking. Moved this lamp back up here in the corner. 
where it was before on the other table. And I have a different lamp that I wasn't using that I may put over here. Move the burlap lamp. But you have to watch last week's in order to know exactly <laughs> what I might be referring to or talking about. Decided on this little desk clock. I think it's cute and pretty and it goes with the silver up above here. And every morning I like to pick two sayings, one from the minis and one from the larger in the box. So let's pick one. This one's sticking up, might as well. Okay. Be open to whatever comes next. All right, we're gonna keep thinking about this. Remove the books. I'm thinking, I like this. I like the books on the bottom, kind of breaks up the photographs. And this is where I was talking about the sayings. Let's pick one for today. That's not supposed to fall off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know, I'm looking for a good one. How about this? Yeah, let's do that one today. Today I choose joy. I mean, they're all good, but you know. Say it, display it .com. For those of you who are new, I'm not happy about the loft. It looks so crowded, but I did put a lot of new stuff up there. As you saw in a previous show, I dismantled the back when I found some uh, <laughs> mysterious, things going on back there. Another little tweak. Bible here. And decided to do the clock right there. I have a plan for this. like to get some bright colored pillows, some solids, maybe a print, I'm not sure. The other covers that I had in my wish list that someone so generously picked out for me, they were too busy. They clashed too much with my interior. I need to sit here for a minute. I've been at this for hours and contemplate looking at it from the Recliner chair. Put a little nature on to relax. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like these three tables in a row like that. I definitely don't like the cords down there. Of course, I'm trying to ignore this mess in the corner here because it's all the remainder. I don't know what I'm going to do with that lamp. And I've got a floor cushion there that was tucked behind the recliner before. I like this corner. And I like where I'm sitting because now I can see both sides. And feng shui, I don't have a window behind me. But I'm struggling a little bit with this. I'm thinking the table needs to be moved back up where it was because this is really busy right here. It just looks like a conglomeration of tables. And then we've got open space here. Maybe I should move that first table back in the corner here. That's an idea. I just need a piece of furniture to go underneath the TV, but I don't want to go buy something. I, just to buy it. And I like this metal back here because I never really did like looking at this underneath the TV. It felt really busy. Hmm. What to do, what to do. One thing I don't care for is it sticks out from the wall. And it shows because of the open. Whereas this table was against or was not up against the wall either but it didn't show through 
What I really like also, I like this round table right here. It feels very cozy. And the other heart table, I don't know, felt a bit clunky next to the chair. This feels light next to a heavy looking chair. The more, hmm, <laughs> as I talk to myself. No, I'm talking to you. I uh, got rid of the cord dilemma and I put the three drawer unit under the table here, which I really like because when I started on this project, it was to get rid of all the loosey goosey little stuff. And this is one of those loosey gooseys hanging out. The only problem is when you pull the drawer, you kind of have to tilt down. And I did it once and see, there you go. And I'm able to get into it while I hold it. So that could work. Something that I don't use very often in there. I like this spaced now. I may end up putting that further in the corner. I'm not sure. Now I've got a new idea too. Put this table back where it seemed like it was made for this, this place right here. This is quite busy with all this black and metal, even though I thought it was cool. And as we spin around, perhaps I could put it right here. I don't know. Could be a winner. This is one of those, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? <laughs> Only thing I'm not sure of is this sure looked pretty over here the tapestry, and it covered the plugs there. But now that I don't have the five drawer unit, not the six drawer, but the five, <laughs> I wanna have something to cover this heavy cord. <laughs> I don't know, but I do like I'm that. pretty certain I like this as well. Kind of like it has its own little unique space here, you could say. Instead of being under the television where it felt busy. Though I know I still got that, you know, that gap here. But not as bad. I don't know. Maybe I could hang a photograph there or said if I get a plant, I think that might be ideal. One of those, um, a floor plant, something that's not going to die on me in two minutes. I like the minimal look on the window sills. I think this is cozy, just enough room to put a book or if I'm eating a meal. It's not uh, overkill space, feels sweet. That's a nice, sweet, clean look. Pray, trust, wait, repeat. Just like live in the moment, those are words I like to plug in and be reminded to do every day. I think that's a nice positioning there. And I'm not sure about these trays, whether I will hide them or leave them there. But I do like the little bit of the color pop that goes with the color in the rug. Walk the beach for right now till I get a plant there. A little cluttered down here with the printer. A couple containers sitting. Hello, Andy, in your man cave. I like this little basket here. I had shoes in it, but this is something I love notebooks and got my little thank you notes and different things that is ongoing. So if I'm sitting here and a little bit bored, I can just pick up my basket and go through it. Do you ever do that? You have notebooks that you just like to go through? Turned out nice. Hanging a picture there and making sure that this would slide across. Woo! Yay! 
I know that metal shelf, the reason I had to have the furniture out so far or further was because of this handle, where this handle goes above here. So isn't that cool? Yeah, the handle was in the way, so I had to bring this out just a little bit further than what it is now, and it felt like it was out too far. I love this easy access to open the windows, too. Instead of going between things, you know, I was doing a lot of going between things with my last layout. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been here about three quarters of a year, give or take. So it's much easier to get to the windows now. And I like this open space here. Yeah, that feels right. It's nothing like a tidy kitchen. <laughs> oh my gosh, hours later, about four hours later, I've got three pieces that are either gonna go up in the loft, gotta find a new home for them, I don't know, maybe Happy Haven for these two. I found a home for the digital albums for the time being. I love how the, the little heart scrapbook album sits there in the front. I think that's pretty. Here's a few items that are going to go, I don't know, in a little storage container for the time being, I'm thinking. I just, I'm not feeling it with any of these right now. The uh, additional decorations that I've tried to now clean up, for lack of a better word. Here's my live in the moment, and I like the way it goes with the silver there. And not sure if I'll keep those trays. I might have already mentioned that. I really, really, really like this open space here. It feels more like, I don't know, maybe welcoming for guests now, or if, 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 and when I go to sell this. If you saw the last show that I did, or I did a show, top five reasons why I'm thinking of selling and rebuilding. Uh, yeah, this shows a better, a better, look of the space, like a place here for a sofa bed, a place for a Murphy bed, maybe over here, move the TV, beautiful wall space right here. I think what I was trying to do, I was, I was trying too hard, even though I really liked the ambiance, um, I was trying too hard to use everything that I had brought here and I don't know, to make some kind of homey museum. <laughs> but uh, this feels much better. I like my recliner chair in the back here where I can look both sides, the windows. And a little bit of work needs done behind the scenes there. But that'll about do it. What to do, what to do. Should I bring the rocker back in? Part of me is saying yes. Because like I just spoke, when guests come, we've got the desk chair, we've got the bar stool, we've got the recliner chair, but it would be nice to have a rocker, I think, sitting right there. And I did like looking out in the morning there. It's pretty crowded on the porch. I'm pretty sure I think it's meant to be in here. Thank you for watching today's updated. Here it is. Here it is. I don't know why I didn't think of doing this sooner. I've lived here for months and months and months. And part of it I think was uh, is really, really good because I worked through some of these, how I was displaying all these memories like as if they were in a showcase. <laughs> I thought I nailed it. I was like, okay, this is how it's going to be. Nothing's going to have to move or change, but that's not me. Um, 
And change is inevitable in my life. It always has been. Um, I embrace change. And, you know, just to point out real quick here, the things that I eliminated. I eliminated the display areas in the front when you walk in the door. Uh, I removed a three heart three-tier heart table and put it outside. I uh, hid the five drawer unit. <laughs> Can't believe how many times I said six drawers. You know, putting it in the closet and then putting this three drawer unit underneath the desk. And I'm also really, really happy. And I think I had to get to a place. It's hard to explain or put in words, but I don't want an office station anymore. I don't want to go to the office. I want to wake up and choose joy and just go about my day randomly, however that looks. I think that was something that I had to, I don't want to say bury, but just let go of, let go of having an office. And, and I already feel freer not having it. I almost feel like I want to work more because I don't have that uh, designated office area. I love this. Um, can sit here and eat, have guests, you know, company and, and eat here. Uh, this can be really twofold now instead of back in the corner. And I've already mentioned to you, I love the open space. I think that... Um, You know, when I go to sell, which I, I mentioned to you in the show where I did my top five reasons why I'm selling, you know, really thinking about it, God's timing, is, uh, and, and that might already be happening now because of the amount of videos that I put out. I'm not sure. But email me if you're interested, Linda at say it, display it .com, And I can, uh, I, I want you to share some information about yourself, a photograph so that I know you're legitimate. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe some of the emails that I get. Not often, but enough to uh, beware. <laughs> but, it, you know, if somebody who's serious and I might ask you some questions and we might need to start a little correspondence before I just, you know, let you know price and all that kind of thing. I'm not sure exactly how that's all going to work out or if it's already working out, but... Um, I feel like going into my next tiny cabin... I am going to know myself and have a better idea right out of the gate, you know, with all the beautiful gifts that everyone's given me, everything's really set up and I can just really, as far as I know, I can really just transfer this setup into another tiny cabin. Even if it's maybe a few feet shorter now, I could bring all of this up further now that I've eliminated that office station. Um, I don't feel like stations anymore, too, which I really like that. The bookshelf, you know, it's over against the wall beside the refrigerator. And the TV's by itself. Um, whether I'll get a plant to go here or not, I'm not sure. That could happen. But I'm really, really excited and um, that I've made these changes. It really feels fresh and new. Uh, irregardless of why you do it, I, I, I've always been a furniture rearranger. Put in the comments, do you do that? I would say probably within a year's time of living somewhere, I probably rearrange at least two to three times. So what's that, every four months? Um, and we're past that here. So <laughs> I was overdue for a uh, do-over here. That'll about do it for today, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, click the bell you know, subscribe, thumbs up. I, I'm so grateful. Um, I appreciate all of you who have made this house a home with all the beautiful gifts. And I'm going to continue enjoying it. And uh, I get back on the road and I have land, then um, we'll get another tiny cabin, which is pretty exciting. So blessings in your day and joy. In the journey. More thing. I found a space for the journal jar in the closet with all the other memories that hide out in the back. Space for the sweet little wrought iron gift from my son.
a lovely space as people are leaving my home. Faith, hope, and love. Sweet gift from my sister. Honestly, I do believe I am going to look for a new home for these. So if you are a collector of these or know of someone that is, Linda at sayitdisplayit.com. I'm going to let go of these angels. Not really my style to have them sprinkled around. And I've got some bubble wrap, but I'm going to put them in a safe and secure bag and see what happens about finding a new home for them later. And stuff like this works out. Perfect size box. Four pieces of bubble wrap, which are rather new. Just recently came with something. Look at that. All bubble wrapped, ready to find a new home. I'm going to write on the outside, angels for sale. Yay!